Uh uh. I have to get this off. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hey y'all! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mocha, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So I think you guys are gonna enjoy this video. It's different. Um, I'm actually doing a maintenance vlog, a DIY maintenance vlog. So I'm gonna attempt to do everything myself, my hair, my nails, my lashes, my toes, and my wax. <laughs> so this may be a three day process, but yeah. Um, so if you do like this video, you know what to do. Make sure you thumbs me up, talk to me in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to your girls to keep up with and you know all the little things I be doing on my channel so I'm currently in my studio because the first thing I'm gonna do is my hair I'm, I'm actually working so I might as well get my hair in and all my stuff is actually here anyway so I am going to be going in I'm gonna color my hair I want to do like I want to show y'all what I'm doing but I'm using four bundles of 22 inches from my collection and I'm gonna make me a closure wig so what I found on Pinterest, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm trying to do. Um, I wanna do this. It looks more brighter on the screen, but it's more like a chocolate. Let me turn on the thing so y'all can really see it. It still looks brighter, but it's more like a chocolate, dirty, arbor, like burnt, it's not burnt orange, it's like a, I like a brassy brown kind of color so that's what I want to do with dark roots something simple for right now and then eventually as the weeks go on I'm gonna add color and stuff so let's just get into this here right now okay y'all so this color is very very easy to achieve I'm just gonna go in with BW2 powder with 30 developer and I did add a little bit of water to make the mixture more liquidy I'm just gonna use I didn't open the bundle I'm gonna leave the hair in the bundle and just dip it in the mixture comb through it and just make sure all the bleach is throughout the hair and you just leave it for a amount of minutes that you want it to be until you see the color and this is what my color came out to be um yeah that brassy brownish that I was looking for the color looks so pretty it came out like exactly how I wanted it so I'm using four bundles because I like my wigs to be bulliana okay all right y'all let me just make this wig while I watch some Netflix straightened it I made it I'm gonna take it home because it's late at night right now it's like seven o'clock and I'm about to go home and I'm not sleeping with it on my head so I'll just probably install it in the morning time but the hair is done I straightened it because eventually I'm gonna throw some curls in it but I like my curls to be very very loose so that's why I straightened it but I like the color Hey y'all, it's the next day, so guess what? It came, it came overnight. So my complete waxing kit came, and this is from Trust Wellness. I bought this off of Amazon, and everything you need for waxing, okay? So I wanna do a quite a little unboxing for you guys. So I decided to go with the Trail Wellness Complete Waxing Kit that I purchased off of Amazon. And it came overnight and I believe I only paid $38. So in the Complete Waxing Kit, you have the warmer, it comes with popsicle sticks, the before and after care spray, and it has the hard wax beans as well as the manual. Okay, so now I'm just about to heat it up. I'm not really going to go through 
the specs on how to do the heating up and stuff because it's a lot of videos on Instagram, not Instagram, on YouTube. But I think I think I'm gonna use mm, I think I'm gonna use a lemon. Alright, let me do this and I'll come back to you guys when I'm doing my underarms. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay. So now I have to put the top on. I put the top on. I'm dripping my consoles. We are ready to wax. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the pre-wax spray that also comes in the kit. And all the directions here. Just clean the area. And we'll touch, oh, it smells good. And we'll touch dries. What am I doing? I'm going to let it dry. We're going to do this. Uh, uh. And I know we'll be using cornstarch, so I do have... They use baby powder, but I'm going to use cornstarch because that is what your girl caught. And ain't they putting... Corn starch and baby powder anyway nowadays. <laughs> this is my first time, y'all. Alright. So we have it at the temperature. My hair is going down, so I'm gonna pull it down, then I'm gonna rip it up. Because that's what it says. So This is messy. Coming the whole entire area. Ooh. Now it's dry. Okay. What the fuck do I think I'm doing here? One, two, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm so mad. So I feel it's gonna hurt more. I don't know what the thought I don't know what, what I thought I was doing. It hurts. One, two, one, two. I did 
this wrong, guys. Uh-uh. this one more time and I'm gonna be fast with it look at it I could pull it now because there's nothing on here I did that. <laughs> I'm gonna use the after wax spray. That look good. That look good. All right, y'all. So I'm doing my brows, which is gonna be super easy. Let me tap this on there. So I cleaned up my brows. Looks good. I may try um, brow lamination next. Guys, my upper lip. I might do my chin. And then we go into the real deal. <laughs> we go into the real deal. I think I'm going to cry, but I really want to try it. Obsessed. <laughs> All right, I'm sitting on the floor. I'm about to. I don't like how he's doing that. 
I promise y'all, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It is definitely not that. It, it, it's like a, you gotta do it fast. If you do it fast, you'll be all right. Now if you take your time, you got a problem. She looks so pretty, oh, she looks so pretty. I just did one half, so it's split. <laughs> It's really best to do this in sections. Don't rush the process. What's the pain? It hurts, but it ain't nothing bad. I heard it ain't nothing like giving birth. So if it's nothing like giving birth, I can do this. Whew, okay. my own kitty oh she's so smooth in my underarms oh my god yeah 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 oh wow Yo, she looks so good i can't believe i did this i needed to strip some packages so i came to my studio i should have just left my wig because here i am First thing first, let's acknowledge how long my locks are getting. I look kind of crazy. But look, they're growing. Okay, it's not about my locks, right? Let's put this wig on. Okay, so I'm learning that braids on my locks are not the way to go when applying a wig. I just have to literally just put a stocking cap on, put it in a low ponytail, cause that's the flattest it gets. Like I feel like when I braid it, it just makes it lumpy. So I like to put some got to be at my edges, sleek my edges back. And then I'm gonna pull my hair into a low ponytail. So just watch me as I slay my hair. Like, come through. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I love it. I love it. Yes. Hair is done. Hair is done. Wax is done. Done. Next is my nails and my lashes. Yeah. I love this. Yes, one side is complete here. Hey guys, let me turn the light on. I had the light off because it was easier to work. It was easier to do my lashes with the light off. So I went ahead and I did one side, as you guys can see. And I'm going to do the other side on camera. 
Okay, so what am I using? I am, I had used these lashes the last time I did my lashes. And this is the Fox Mink by V Lux by Ivy. Um, and I'm using the medium. I didn't go buy new lashes. And then I am going in with IMV Long Lasting Individual Glue. And it is waterproof. Yes, waterproof. So I am going in with the Garnier Skin Active Maclara. This is the cleansing water. And I'm going to use this just to clean my lashes before I apply it. You just want to make sure your lashes are kind of separated and clean. You don't want no oils or nothing on your lashes, really. Um, yeah, let me just start. So what you don't want to do, I'm going to lift my eye up. If you are doing lashes, like I said, you don't want to. The first time I did them, when I did my lashes the first time, I had put it on my waterline, which is this red, the red part. And you don't want to do that. You do not want to put the lashes on your waterline because after a while it gets hard and then it gets very, very irritating. I Trust me, don't do it. So you're just going to put it literally wherever your lashes stop underneath. I'm going to put it right where my lashes stop. But you're not going to put it on your waterline. Do not put it on this red part or pink, whatever you want to call it. You just want to stop right where your lashes stop and you just want to take your time listen to some music right now i'm listening to tony gaskins because he is the realest okay i just been listening to him for so many days now he's definitely the realest okay so i'm listening to him right now and right now he is talking about do not buy anything right now that's his message and he just he said one of the realest shit he said they'll let you buy a depreciated item before they make you buy an appreciated item and he's just talking about how interest rates are high with everything with cars anything so guys even i was thinking about getting a new car right but the interest whatever but regardless if i change my car in it's gonna be much more than what i'm paying right now because how the market is so just hold it down we need the market to go back to what it was but we can't, it's not gonna go back if we keep on spending money. We do not need nothing right now, guys. Trust me. Do with what you got. Be content with what you got. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep on listening because even my ass was ready to buy something. Gonna put me in more debt and more money. Okay. So let me go ahead and do my lashes. We did our lashes, y'all. I'm happy that things are just coming together. Yes. Hey, y'all. Yesterday was a total fail on my nails. So I popped, I did everything. I did both of my hands, but I just kept on looking at them. Like, I was just like, it wasn't doing it for me. I don't know. I even sent pictures to my mother. <laughs> Let me show y'all. It was to the point I even like I was so over it. It took long as hell. I was so over it. But look. Mm. I can't really see it. It probably looks good here. But it was just like the thing was over my cuticles. It was not like coming out. It didn't look like it was like professionally did which i knew it was supposed to look like that but every all my other maintenance came out really good so i was just hoping my nails would come out really good and it was a total fail 
I think I have to, anything that deals with using both of my hands, probably I can actually do it. But I think because I have to use like one hand, my dominant hand, I could work with. But when I get to the other side, I can't really do it, if that makes sense. I don't know, but we're going to the next one. I'm not going to give up. I'm, I'm going to do it one more time, but I'm going to try that. A pre, a pre kit, nail kit. It looks more much easier to use in the girls that be using them, the nail techs and stuff. They say you don't have to shape it or nothing. Um, these are the cheap ones that I bought. So that came with the full kit. So I have to do a lot of shaping and molding to my hand, which, you know, I'm not a professional. So that's probably why it's coming out like that also. But don't worry, I'm going to try it again. this vlog as much as I enjoy creating it for you guys I hope you got a lesson from this vlog and the lesson was to stop saying you can't do stuff you know what I'm saying try you never know what you can do if you don't try the nails was a fail but I'm gonna definitely try it again if their luck is not the charm, it's just not for me. As I did my maintenance journey, what I have learned is I feel like I have more patience. I feel like me going to get these stuff done all the time and spending money is because I really didn't have patience. I was more in a rush, but it's like, what are you rushing? What are you rushing for? Rushing to get where? You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you just have to spend more time with yourself. I learned like while I was doing the self care, it felt good to spend time with myself and care to myself. It really definitely felt good um yeah so everything was completed and i really just want to maintain a signature look i feel like me being able to do my own wax me doing my own brows my lashes it will make me feel that i can keep myself put together at all times and i can do these basic minimum maintenance things you know what i'm saying so Love the chit chat. I am, as you guys can see, I am fully dressed because I am about to take myself on my solo date. But we're just going to end this vlog right here and I'm going to see y'all in the next video after this. Okay? See y'all in the next upload, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see you in the next video. I met him in Philly and her name was Brown.